Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,428th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, I've got to get into this very quickly because I'm holding an Omnicamp, and I just wanted to update you very quickly and get back to my crowd. This video is being filmed on Sunday for trading Sunday through Monday, Jan 25th, 2016. We know futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, is not suitable for all traders. Make sure you have risk capital to lose if you're going to trade this game. All right. So for trading on Sunday through Monday, E-mini S&P Omni is bullish. We've got a green Omni, green Omni for trading the onset of trading in the E-mini S&P and NASDAQ, you name it, the usable suspects. So we're starting off this day, starting off this day with a green Omni. Nobody knows how the day will end up, but we will start off buying the dips expecting the market to move higher. In my last video, I showed you this very same chart, a series of channels. We fell out of the green channel, number one, broke out into the number two red channel, and we just broke out of that channel with the buy signal on Friday with the E-mini S&P. Omni gave a buy signal. It was absolutely correct. The market did move higher, and we expect another up day on Monday, Tuesday. That's your E-mini s p let's move along now traders omni gave a buy signal in crude oil the first buy signal i have received since the price of 103 when omni called the top 103 omni calls top and then this happens right you've seen what happened everything fell apart well, the market came all the way down here and Omni develops a buy signal. Crazy, right? Here is what happened since the buy signal has come from Omni in the crude oil. And boom, look at that move. I mean, wow. I didn't expect a buy signal. I did issue it to my Omniacs, but be a little careful. So crude did run higher. And where we were looking at the S&P, that absolutely is a pretty decent looking chart right now. Looks to me like it does want to break out. And if you ask me, something like Euro currency looks bearish for trading on Sunday, Monday. That's the 6E these days, right? The 6E looks bearish for a day trade Sunday through Monday. So just keep that in mind. That's your Euro currency while we're buying S&P and keeping an eye on that crude chart. Traders, i got to run back to Omnicamp. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop. So in emotions are ah traders thank you so much i'll see you all at livewithoscar.com